What's going on YouTube? Effect Records here. Today I'm going to bring you a quick tutorial on how to use Silhouette Connect software. Um, this is fairly simple, pretty easy to do for people that don't like Silhouette Studio. Um, no offense to people who do, I'm just not a big fan of it. So let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, so what I want to do first, go ahead and open up Curl Draw and open up a new page. Uh, once there, I'm going to go ahead and go to where my image is, which I got built not bought, that I've made previously. And go ahead and drag that right into there. And then I'm going to go ahead and scale that up a little bit. Now the height needs to be like four inches, so I'm gonna go ahead and scale this down. Right, right about there, that'll be fine. So now I got this. Okay, so now it's ready to go to the silhouette connect once I'm ready, because as if I go to wireframe, this is what the silhouette's gonna see. Um, so if you don't know how to vectorize an image, you can go and check out my other video. The link will be down in the description below on how to vectorize. Um, but other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and go up here to launch. And this is after you buy Silhouette Connect, and it cost me like 30 bucks um, to buy it. And so yeah, it's pretty pretty easy to do. Um, once you open up Corel Draw, it should automatically be there. Um, but you go up to here and click Launch, and go to Send to Silhouette Connect. Now you also have Silhouette registration marks for if you do print to cut, um, like I do, because I have I do printed stickers as well. Um, so I do like that feature as well. But we're gonna just use uh, Send to Silhouette Connect. And now this is where it's going to take a little bit to load, um, but yeah, it's fairly quick. Now I do have some problems with Silhouette Connect as I got to adjust the settings every time I cut within Silhouette Connect. I don't know why. Um, I've called Silhouette America about it. Um, they told me to do some stuff, but it didn't work. So um, I still get around it. It's just not the easiest thing to do. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like when it pops up for Silhouette Connect. And as you see, it's within the red box out here. And if it's outside the red box, then it's not going to cut it. Um, it's basically like a cut border. It's not, it's not going to cut it for some reason. I called about that as well. I'm um, seeing if I can remove it because I'm not a big fan of it because I know how with my vinyl is. Um, so I don't really need it because this won't let me do 12 inch by 12 inch. Um, so, and if I scale it higher than 12 inch, then it does it long ways. Um, so I have a big problem with that. Um, but down here um, you can go to rotate um, you can this is where you can adjust the height and width um, layers um, this is where you can choose what you're cutting like vinyl cardstock copy paper and stuff like that but like I said if no matter which one I click I got to do it manually because it makes the thickness on my silhouette uh, cameo go to 15 for some reason so I got to adjust it and I usually put it at 7 with one on my cutter on my blade so like this won't, this doesn't really make a change. So I just usually leave this alone, um, just because it does nothing. I've I've tried to mess with it. Um, so yeah, here you got some more settings and all that fun stuff. And then if you click up here, you can show weed border padding, weed lines, and right there, this is where you actually send to the silhouette. Um, so you just push start, or if you're back here, you there's start right here. So you don't even got to go through all this. You can just click start, and it'll start. But uh. Yeah, this is basically what you're going to be cutting right here. Um, so yeah, you can also put it in for a cutting mat. Um, yeah, uh, so we're going to go ahead and start this. And yeah, it's basically the tutorial. So if you like this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. There will be more, and I hope that your Silhouette Connect works better than mine. Like, I hope it actually works with the Cameo. Um, but if you guys do got suggestions on how I can fix it, please let me know. Um, but yeah, alright, thank you, peace.